Hi friends, welcome to our channel Aquatic Fish Doctor. You may be rearing certain carnivorous fishes like Arowana, Oscar, Flowerhorn, Parrot etc. What happens in one or another day there may be a fight among these fishes and as a result of this one or another fishes skin get wounded. There will be a formation of wound on the skin of the fish and this video I am going to explain how to treat the fishes with a a certain kind of skin wounds. It's a very very easy process. Keep following this video. You will understand how to cure the skin wounds on any type of carnivore fish and other fishes also. The flowerhorn fish what you see in this video is the affected flowerhorn. Actually we kept three flowerhorns in a three feet tank with partition glass. We were grooming this flower on for the next breeding purpose. This is our home breed uh, male flower on. Unfortunately, what happened? One of the fish from the partition tank jumped into this flower on tank and damaged this flower on very badly. This you can clearly witness from this video. The outer scale is totally removed and the inner uh, skin also got removed. And you can clearly see the flesh of the fish. The hump also greatly reduced. If you see the shape of the humps, you will be able to understand the level of damage happened to the flower on. Now we have to recover this fish from this condition. Whenever you have this kind of problems, you have to first separate the fish in a, a small quarantine tank and disinfect the tank with the hot water wiped cloth. Then we have to clean the entire area of the wound. So first uh, let me show you the condition of the wound portion to you. Now we are just taking out the fish and if you closely observe, you can see, clearly see the extent of damage. Can you able to see friends? So the inner flesh portion is clearly visible. You can clearly see one side of the fish. The other side looks normal. Now we have to apply potassium permanganate solution into the wound. We have to get the potassium permanganate from the local medical shop. And we have to dilute it with the help of the hot water. It, the potassium permanganate will be available in the form of small crystals. Using a small stick and hot water, you can dilute the potassium permanganate and apply this potassium permanganate solution over the wound portion. When you are applying this potassium permanganate, you have to ensure that you are not adding the direct concentrated solution. You have to dilute the potassium permanganate and apply over the wound area alone. Now you can clearly see the process. We are just slightly applying over the wound portion. This is just to disinfect the area. Uh, not to getting affected by any kind of fungus. This process you have to repeat for 2 to 3 days until the fish immunity uh, recovers the body and the wound healing happens. So this is the process of application of potassium permanganate. After this we can directly transfer the fish to the main tank and put on heater and little salt and we added ENPR for the better healing purpose. So this is the current status of the um, fish. I will update the recovery condition of this video after few days keep following our channel this process is common for all fishes just because we are having a flower on in our farm i am showing the demo video of flower on wound healing process suppose if you are uh, having any other carnivore fish and get attacked by other fishes first of all you have to separate the affected fish into a separate tank and start the treatment keep following our channel for more fish related information friends thank you for watching